Hi guys, welcome back to my channel, thank you so much for watching. Today's video is going to be a 25 facts about me video and I thought I'd do this because I feel like there's new people joining our little family all the time which is so nice and there's new people joining my other platforms all the time which again is so so nice and I thought it'd be quite a nice idea for you to be able to get to know me a little more I don't know why you'd want to do that but apparently some of you do so I thought I would tell you some facts about me there's some really boring vanilla ones that might be helpful and then there's hopefully some like semi-interesting ones um, I did this video when I first started my channel about two and a half years ago it was absolutely shocking it's the only video that I've ever produced because I was so awkward the lighting was so hideous it was just so bad so I thought I'd refilm it for you today because you know I feel like you know what I like to wear if you follow me on Instagram you know what I like to eat pizza pancakes all the bad things in life but you don't necessarily know me as such so I thought that this would be a cute little video there are 25 facts and you guys know that I like to waffle more than anyone waffles ever 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 so let's get into it before I do if you want to keep up to date with me on a daily basis or chat to me on a daily basis then you can head over to my Instagram it's at LNextDoor my blog my twitter everything else will be linked up below as well so so yeah that's me let's get started i don't know why i did this like weird thing but apparently i did it we're gonna go with it number one super boring but i am 25 years old i get asked that quite a lot um i think people often think that i'm a bit older which you know is sad times for me i clearly need to up my skincare game but i am 25 my birthday is november the 30th just in case there's any lovely people out there that want to buy me all the presents in the world i'm joking don't buy me the presents i mean you can if you want i really like pizza and flowers because i have a few facts i'm going to lump this in on the same one i'm also five foot eight a lot of people ask me how tall i am and i used to hate being tall so 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 much when i was younger but now i really really love it apart from the fact that most clothes look like mini skirts and basically flash all of the goods well not goods i mean maybe I don't know where this is going. Flash everything in sight all of the time. Um, but yeah, five for eight. I quite enjoy being tall. I can always reach the top shelf. In case you couldn't tell by my accent, I am a born and bred Londoner. Also, my accent is still like even more manly than usual because I'm still getting over this blimmin' chest infection and the Aussie flu, which has lasted forever. But yes, I was born in South East London. I still live in South East London and my god i can't imagine living anywhere else and i really don't want to live anywhere else so dear london if you could reduce your house prices so that i don't end up in a shed that would be nice i get asked a lot because i guess i obviously don't make it obvious what my job is and i am a full-time blogger instagrammer and i guess now youtuber i do a lot more work through my youtube channel which is more of a recent thing which is so nice because i guess brands and companies realize that there is a lovely little community of you over here that might be interested in what i have to say and what i'm liking um but yes i have been blogging for five and a half years I've been on Instagram for a couple of years and YouTube for a couple of years and it's been my full-time job for a couple of years. I should have just said a couple of years. If I wasn't doing this as a job, I think I would own like a super cute Instagrammable cafe. And when I say I would do that, obviously I can't afford to do that, but that would be like my dream job to have a little cafe to make everything pink and maybe not marble anymore, but like pink and rose gold and colorful. And I'd have like lots of different areas with different backgrounds and it would just be so cool. And it'd bring all the Instagrammers to the yard. I don't know why on earth I said that. I'm seriously regretting it. I just think it'd be really cute and I would love that. And I'm so chatty if you couldn't already tell. So I think I would love like giving people a coffee, hopefully with some latte art and practicing and working on it and just having a nice old chat. Before I went full time on my blog, I was a TV producer. I started my TV career on, well I did work experience in loads of places, ended up on This Morning which was so cool, had a lot of fun on that um, and then on my last day I think I got a job on The X Factor and then I worked there for about two years. I worked on Britain's Got Talent, The Apprentice, The Only Way is Essex, all the classy shows, all the classy shows. <laughs> so I worked in TV for about four and a half years and I think all along I kind of knew that it wasn't really for me, it was just something that I was enjoying doing there and then but it wasn't ever going to be like my full time job and I started my blog kind of halfway through that time and that was always my biggest passion and my biggest hobby but it wasn't a job back then. I mean it probably was for people like Zoella and the huge YouTubers um, but it definitely wasn't something that I 
for that I could ever do. So that wasn't a goal, but it was something that I just loved doing. My style icons, which is a question that I think about a lot, even though nobody asks me it, and uh, obviously I'm just really cool and not at all sad, would probably be a mixture of Olivia Palermo. I've always been obsessed with her. She's just effortless and cool. Um, more her like casual outfits, I really love. Um, Rosie Hunterton Whiteley, again, she's got that like laid back, I'm a supermodel, look at me, just be cool vibe to her, which obviously I'll never have in my entire life. And then lots and lots of Instagrammers, but in terms of like famous celebs that you might know, I absolutely love those two. Just in case I had like 1% street cred left, which I doubt that I even did, I'm going to ruin it all now by saying that. <laughs> When I was younger, I was completely obsessed with the Spice Girls. If you want to be my lover, gotta get with my friends. I was never posh, I was the most cockney person ever, 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 so I couldn't be posh. Didn't want to be Scary Spice because who wants to be scary? I should have been Sporty Spice because I was super sporty when I was younger. I was the ugly duckling of the whole entire year at school, so I was never going to be baby. So, I kind of ended up being Jerry, Ginger Spice and I definitely had a Union Jack dress and I felt like the coolest person alive. I hit my peak when I was six, realistically. I feel so lucky that there's so many incredible opportunities and things that have happened to me and for me because of this job, which is insane and it still blows my mind that I actually get to do this. Um, but one of my, also on that note, I have um, a post like 18 amazing things that happened in 2017, that's the year, um, which includes a lot of those things because I feel like I want this to be more like general about my life rather than just my job. But one of my career highlights and one of the coolest things that's ever happened to me is I am, I don't know if I'm currently, I think I am, I saw myself the other day, um, I am one of the faces of Santander Cycles, which is so hilarious because A, I'm the least sport human ever, 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 and B, I just don't really know how it happened, but last year, about April time, I shot a campaign with, um, I think a guy called John, I didn't get to meet him, which is why I don't remember his name, I'm not that rude, I promise, um, John, who is the food busker, and AJ Adudu, I think I've probably pronounced that wrong, um, and and Jessica Ennis and Jensen Button and it was so cool, just completely surreal and weird um, and I didn't think anything of it until months later I had a lot of people tweet me saying is this your face on my bus stop? Is this your face in Canary Wharf on this huge like annoyingly huge screen because my face was like blown up and massive and and I was wearing a bike helmet as well so I wasn't looking my coolest um, but yeah just like such a cool thing to be a part of so my face is currently kind of splattered around London which is hilarious and embarrassing but also a little bit cool as well. I feel like if you follow me on Instagram, if you followed me for a couple of days, if you followed me for longer then you'll definitely know, if you followed me on here or my blog or wherever, if you generally like haven't just joined me then you will know that I am obsessed, obsessed, actually obsessed with Grey's Anatomy. It is just my happy place, it's not a place but that's where I'm going with it. I just love it so much, it makes me so happy. I've watched the whole thing through and I'm currently on my third go of watching the whole thing through don't care, don't care if it makes me the uncoolest person in history. I just love it so much, it makes me happy. I don't know what else there is to say. I'm a box set girl, I absolutely love box sets and I love suits, I love scandal. And I've been suggested quite a few new ones as well, but if you have any recommendations, please let me know because always open to hear new things. I'm also obsessed with Harry Potter, but I feel like I don't need to tell you that because I'm hoping that when you look at me, the first thing you think is you belong in Gryffindor, honestly. How do I get by in life? But yeah, I love Harry Potter a lot. <laughs> My favourite colour is something that I don't really have an answer for, but I feel like I've become a real adult when I can actually answer those kind of things, like, who's your star icon? What's your favourite colour? I would say at the moment it is either red, because red reminds me of pure, like, sass. I love a red lip. It just immediately, like, brightens you up and makes you feel sassy. I'm also a big fan of dusky pink at the moment. Like, my Instagram feed is pretty much all pink, or it's very colourful and very pink at the moment anyway, but I like a good dusky pink. I'm not so much of a, like, bubblegum, Barbie pink kind of girl, but a good dusky pink, maybe with a bit of rose gold or copper running through. Yeah, I'm about that life. In general, I absolutely love colour, and I think that it's quite nice because a lot of comments that I get on my style videos is that it's nice to see people actually wearing colour and seeing those kind of, like, colourful jumpers. I wear a lot of rainbow jumpers, <laughs> um, kind of, like, brightens people's day which is really nice. Um, I'm thinking about doing a video on how to incorporate colour into your wardrobe so if that's something that you'd be interested in then let me know. When I was younger I think I've already mentioned I was a massive tomboy but 
I was a footballer and not just like I occasionally played like on a Sunday like I actually I played for the Millwall Lionesses and if you know about football and you're like the Millwall men's team are semi crap didn't work like that the girls team was actually good we were in the top leagues um, we were actually very good and yeah I trained like a few times a week and we played every Saturday and it was super intense and took over my whole life but I loved it I was a rough and tough centre back I wasn't like I'd literally fall over if someone just like pushed me but <laughs> football was my life and until I was about 15 maybe like that was what I was gonna do like I wanted to be like a professional footballer that was like my life goal that was always what I was gonna do and now look at me I literally have an exercise since I stopped playing when I was 16. My favorite place in the entire world if you couldn't already tell is New York I just I don't even know how to describe it it's just the most incredible place obviously I love London I was born and bred in London and I still think it's the most incredible place but New York is the place where I like step foot outside of the door and I'm like yeah I belong here last year I think this isn't a fact this is just like me chatting and waffling obviously um, last year I think I went on 23 trips which was absolutely ridiculous and amazing a lot of those were work and press trips and some of those were me just going away with my friends but I always I love travel it's one of my favorite things it's one of my passions I want to see the whole world I mean not the whole world I mean I would like to see the whole world but being realistic here um, I want to see as many places as possible so this isn't even a fact, I mean I guess that is that I love travel, super boring I know, but I would love to um, hear your recommendations and see where you think I might like to go to or where you would recommend, where is your favourite place in the world? I guess on that note another fact would be that the three places that I am so 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 desperate to go to are Australia, the Maldives, but I feel like that is a place for like couples isn't it I feel like I couldn't just rock up on my own or with a couple of friends I mean I definitely could do that but I think I'm maybe gonna wait until I actually have someone that I could go with and it could be a nice romantic trip which means that I'll never end up going <laughs> jokes but not actually joking also have always wanted to visit Cape Town because I have a few friends that have been and they've always mentioned it and loved it and just said that it was incredible so yeah those are my three at the moment anyway I think I just definitely did a six those are the three so yeah three <laughs> three places that I would like to go to at the moment. I have celiac disease which means I have to eat gluten free. I was diagnosed I think about eight years ago now. I've never done a video about celiac or gluten free so let me know if that's something you'd be interested in as well. But yeah I was diagnosed with a biopsy and blood test and I've been gluten free ever since obviously because if you have celiac disease and you risk a pizza or any kind of gluten then I'm sorry but you are an idiot. I think one thing that people would never guess or think about me because when I've spoke to people about it they're just always so surprised is that I actually have like super low confidence I want to say self-esteem but that also just makes me feel like I want you all to get the violins out and feel sorry for me but I think that it's kind of important for you guys especially for maybe the younger people because I suffered a lot more when I was younger with um, self-confidence but I think it's really easy to look at bloggers and Instagrammers and YouTubers and, and people that kind of portray this perfect life on their social channels to know that life isn't really like that and I think a lot of people would think that I'm, because I'm quite like chatty and like I will just chat to everyone, um, that I'm like really confident in myself which actually isn't the case at all, at all. So yeah, I guess never judge a book by its cover really and know that past the constant joking and piss taking and the pure sarcasm there is actually someone behind there that might be like lacking a little confidence and not feeling the best. Despite my blonde hair straight from the bleach bottle um, and despite the fact that this makes me want to shrivel up and die inside because it feels so self-indulgent um, I am more intelligent than people would probably assume because first of all just generally a complete and utter dunce in life. When I was younger I passed the 11 plus and when just growing up I was always like honestly the geeky A star student like I always got the top scores in my classes. I know you're all like you are deluded what are you even saying? And right from young it was always a uh, Oxford or Cambridge where where do you want to go you should choose that because that will be your path which is quite funny to me because I feel like which is so untrue that I don't really use my brain so much now and my job is much more kind of creative than it is um, academic maybe which also is untrue there's a lot that goes on behind the scenes which people don't actually see but yeah once I had a few brain cells and actually used them 
I think I just have one of those faces that are super familiar. Like, I see on a daily basis get compared to someone new, or someone will tag their friend and say, this person looks so much like you. So I think I'm just super, like, plain Jane and look a little bit like everyone. But some people that I have been compared to over the years, these are really funny to me because this is when I was working on X Factor just years ago and I like was so tanned all the time so I used to get Leona Lewis because I was super tanned and had blonde hair I used to get Jessica Alba which let's be honest was just someone completely taking the mick out of me because oh my god how incredible would it be to look like Jessica Alba but I used to get her I get Louisa Johnson all the time all the time especially when she was actually on X Factor at the time I get Claudia Slusky? I don't know how to say her name but she's like a huge amazing youtuber I get her a lot I think I just have a familiar face my favorite foods I always try to think of like one cuisine or one meal to narrow it down to but this is too difficult for me because I feel like I'm the ultimate foodie pasta pizza sushi done oh and the occasional burger as well when I say the occasional burger, I mean weekly burger. Also love pancakes. God, I love waffles as well. I like my food a lot. I don't know why I thought this would be a good fact because actually it's so boring and like, who even does this? I have broken two bones in my body. That was my elbows. And I, <laughs> and I did it both by running into a wall. Mm hmm Yeah. The first YouTubers I ever discovered and absolutely fell in love with and was like, what is this YouTube thing? I'm going to carry on watching it forever, were Zoella, Fleur de Force, Pixie Woo, and I don't know how to pronounce it, but I think it was like Panacea 81 or some kind of number, maybe 21, probably neither of those. Um, I think her name was like Lauren something beginning with an L nailing this guys nailing this but i discovered them and absolutely fell in love and it was always like a pipe dream that i would end up on youtube or just start a channel but i was so so lacking in confidence and was so self-conscious and i just never ever thought that i would have the balls to do it but yay look at us now <laughs> I love YouTube so much so I am so happy that I actually decided to not care what anyone thinks um, and start my own channel. I passed my driving test first time at 17. Honestly, I don't know how I did it. My manoeuvre was so hideous that I ended up parking like three metres, <laughs> honestly like three metres away from the curb. I'm really just not the best driver in the world and I'm just super chilled and like yeah I'll drive like I don't really care about it, I just go out and do it but I don't know how I passed first time. My favourite film growing up was Parent Trap with Lindsay Lohan. I just loved it. I watched it all the time. My poor parents dealt with me watching that all the blooming time. And also Dirty Dancing. Oh, I loved Patrick Swayze. If you don't follow me on Instagram, then you probably won't know this, but I am slightly obsessed with baths. Lush Bomb baths, Bubble baths, just generally all of the baths with all of the pamper products all of the snacks ready to go, the books, the laptop on the side playing Grey's Anatomy or Harry Potter or some kind of goodness, I just love a good relaxing bath. Finally, uh, I've never actually mentioned this on YouTube or my blog and you know not that there's any reason to mention it but um, I briefly said earlier in my video that I was ill for a little bit when I was younger and yeah when I was 15 to maybe like really badly until I was 17 I was really quite ill in hospital a lot of the time I didn't go to school for pretty much the last two years. I think I went for like a combined total of about two weeks or three weeks. Um, and then I taught myself, so I didn't learn at all for that time. And then I basically taught myself everything I could in like the last three weeks before I did my GCSEs. By some miracle, still got my GCSEs, still got like, A's and I mean I, I don't know how I don't know how I think the examiners obviously just felt sorry for me um, I've actually written a post which is like a letter to my 16 year old self which is super nerve-wracking and um, I haven't posted it and I started it about two years ago so I don't know if I ever will post it in fact I will because I'll force myself to do it um, but it's super personal and I just feel like it could be the thing um, that might help any of you that might not be well at the moment or kind of be in a place where you feel like there's no light at the end of the tunnel and just in a bit of a difficult place because yeah I was really quite ill when I was younger and didn't go to school like couldn't do A-levels and everything that was meant to be my path like going to uni and 
kind of doing academic stuff um, or playing football, all of it was stripped away from me and I kind of was left with no prospects. And I think that now this is kind of the reason why I work too many hours, too many hours, too many days and never really take a day off because it's kind of like the driving force and I feel so grateful that I am well enough to do whatever I want, um, which is why I would like to think I was like quite a positive person or just that have a bit of like get up and go um because yeah i feel like we're lucky if we're in a position that we can work hard and do whatever we want and and there was definitely a time when i didn't ever feel like that and i felt like my life would just be a hospital bed um so god that was such a morbid way of ending the video wasn't it but i just feel like that post will be coming soon and i hope it's really helpful for anyone having a bit of a tough time but yeah wasn't very well when I was younger but I think that it's a nice way to show people that you can be like at the lowest of the low points and you can always claw yourself back with hard work there's nothing that you can't do and you can't achieve but yeah I thought I'd add that one in there and I think that that is my 25 what's probably happened is I've either completely cut it short or not done enough or just given you like 30 there <laughs> but we will soon see I hope you enjoyed the video I hope you feel like you know me a little bit more I hope you still like me I hope you still subscribe to my channel if you did like it please feel free to give it a big thumbs up and subscribe if you're new if you do subscribe and if you are already subscribed then i'll see you in my next video thanks so much for watching guys i'm so grateful to have you along with me on this journey bye